Ford Explorer, Ranger, and Bronco 2. Two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive, 1990-1994. Ford F-150, F-250, and F-350. Two-wheel drive, 1990-1996. Camber caster alignment bushing. Problem. Front tire wear and handling problems due to improper camber and caster adjustment. Solution. Our bushing provides a means of adjusting camber and caster for all Ford two-wheel drive trucks from 1990 to 1996, as well as four-wheel drive Ranger, Bronco 2, Explorer, and Mazda vehicles from 1990 to 1994 or later, depending on application. Refer to our catalog for proper application. Check the top of the existing bushing to verify that a zero-degree bushing is in place. If not, it is recommended to install a zero-degree bushing and recheck alignment readings. With late model Hunter engineering alignment equipment containing their ABC automatic bushing calculator program, it is possible to input the bushing size and position of the removed bushing and have the aligner calculate the correct size and position for the installed bushing without the necessity of installing a zero-degree bushing as shown by the screens in the background. For specific procedures, please refer to your alignment machine's detailed instructions. Raise the vehicle with an air jack or other suitable lift so that approximately one half of the vehicle weight is off the tire wheel assembly and support safely. Using a 12 millimeter 12 point socket, remove the upper ball joint pinch bolt. Remove the factory bushing by prying upward under the bushing shoulder. The original equipment bushing has a ridge running the full length down one side. This allows the bushing to be installed only one way. Aftermarket bushing does not have this ridge, allowing it to be adjusted not only for one alignment angle, but also for a combination change of camber and caster. Although the new aftermarket bushing does not have a ridge holding it in one position, once it's properly seated, the pinch bolt provides enough clamping force to keep it from working loose or rotating. When installing a new bushing, the placement of the bushing slot determines the amount of change that will be achieved. Depending on whether the slot is placed forward or rearward to the vehicle will determine caster only to the full amount of degree stamped on the bushing. Placing the slot outboard towards the tire or inboard towards the engine will give full degree change stamped on the bushing for camber only. Placing the bushing for a combination change of caster and camber will result in an alignment change of less than the degree of change stamped on the bushing. When installing the alignment bushing in four-wheel drive vehicles, the amount of adjustment is less than when installed in two-wheel drive vehicles. This is due to wider upper lower ball joint spacing to accommodate the drive shaft in the four-wheel drive axle. See chart on the instruction sheet for degrees of adjustment. Install the new bushing with slot facing in the desired direction. Refer to the instruction sheet for proper slot direction for desired angle changes. Note, on higher degree bushings it may be necessary to widen the gap of the pinch bolt assembly slightly for ease of installation. Tap downward on the bushing to fully seat it and reinstall the snap ring if equipped. Snug down the pinch bolt, but do not fully tighten it this time. Lower the vehicle and jounce the suspension. Take alignment readings and turn the bushing to obtain desired final results. Torque the pinch bolt 48 to 65 foot-pounds, 65 to 85 newton-meters. Proceed with the rest of the alignment and road test the vehicle.